what the original statue itself was donated by Mrs. Anna Wildhaber back in 1906. And so we would like to get this refurbished and restored to its original glory so it can last another hundred years. Um, we're currently taking donations for the restoration of this monument and the other shrines up at the cemetery. As you can see, the statue is out being repaired right now. It had to be completely disassembled and repainted, the paint scraped off of it. Um, it's being repainted to its original colors right now. The interior of the shrine um, was actually peeling and faded and had mold in it. That's all been um, scraped and cleaned and now it's been repainted to the original blue color. The frame itself of the door um, is, in, is just shattered. It had been broken by vandalism several years ago. Um, the, so we're hoping to get that replaced with an aluminum framed door with venting to protect it from the elements and some sort of a UV coating on the um, plexiglass door. First of all, I, when I got the piece, it was really flaky and, and all the paint all over his body was just chipping and of course there was a couple pieces throughout his body that were missing. So I had to fill those with plaster and rebuild. It's a long process. It's, there's a lot, a lot of, I wish I could just strip it, but I don't think there, there's no budget for that. <laughs> Stripping the stuff from scratch, that would be my, my preference, but I don't, I, that's, that's a very intensive uh, project. So I think uh, what they want is just to scrape the whole paint, whatever it's loose, and go on top and then try to make it look like it was originally. We have some old pictures uh, on the archives, so I'm trying to match what's there. And, and uh, because it's been painting, or it's been painted before, so I can see the different layers of different colors. So I want to try to try to make it as original as possible.